And I feel like I understand the kind of world you came from. Like I understand you as a person, or your universe, or your cravings. As if I feel like I know you. You. Well, see, when I started Don't honest. speak. I know just what you're saying. Isn't that a no-doubt song? I just love the way you let the, the universe flow out your fingertips like the blood of an infant lamb. Oof. I never thought of it that way. I've never but... felt before this. Yeah, me neither. Hey, Michael. Hey. Hi. To meet you. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Oh. A lot of people. Go ahead, have a seat. Right here? It's right there, sorry. I didn't find the camera. Alright. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Oh. How long have you been painting? Well, that's a... That's a zebra in a nutshell. That's a big fish to fry right there. Um, what, is, what, is there what is there to say? Like, I've been painting all my life. Like, mentally, I've been painting, I've been painting all your life because you've been waiting for something like this for forever, probably. I've been, I've been stealing, I, not stealing ideas. I'm, uh, I, some people would call me a criminal if they, you know, uh, but I'm not, I'm not a criminal of art most of the time. I'm a criminal of your heart. What I'm saying is, is that I have imagined myself being this huge wave that comes crashing down on all you surfers. Um, I'm not sure what you want to hear from me. I mean, I can just, I can get into this whole thing. Or we can change interviewers. Next interviewer. I'm the only interviewer here. Whoa. What does Harmony Art do to start her day? What are what are her creative processes? Um well I really don't think you should cut your hair. I think it looks really good like that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't going to cut it, especially now. Oh. You know what I hear? What? Seven. Seven minutes. Like attractiveness, like one to ten. Oh, no way. Yeah. I posted a poll on my blog, and they were like, you were at seven. Now you're at
thing that we did where I do that? What's that about? I do that when we're upset, right? Yes. We don't yell? No. Okay. Okay. Found it. Okay, you guys. Softer, please. I wonder you're still a virgin. Oh. Definitely something to offer to the world. Definitely something in my life. She's, She's amazing. amazing. <laughs> They're gonna make it, right? Have fun. She's a real inspiration to me. I mean, if I could just have one lock of her hair, I'd be inspired to do so many things. She's definitely the way of the future as far as art is concerned. I, I guess she's okay. I mean, I just don't really get her work. <clears throat> what I mean to, what, what I meant was, uh, she's good. I mean, like, really, really good. Like, great. I mean, she's like my best friend. Okay. It's just like something that she, like, does to you, you know? Like, like, whenever I look at her artwork and stuff, I feel, like, inspired to work on my music. And, and then the music just starts to come to me. I like your art work. Oh, mine's over there. I like that too. Um, so do you, I, mm, you want to go out sometime or something? What? Go out on a date with me? No. Or it's a piece of shit. Listen, I've spent my entire life. I've earned the respect that people give my name. And she, she just brainwashes people into believing that she's got some kind of talent. <laughs> the art's shit. What are you doing? Do you want to make sandwiches sometime with me? Really? Mm -hmm. I bring the bread, you bring the beautiful. Jesus Christ. What does that smell on you? Vanilla? Paprika? Okay, no, it, it's sweat. Okay, but you're making me nervous. And not the good nervous, like the butterflies in my stomach, I can't wait to see you. It's more nervous like I want to throw you in front of a dump truck. I'm, Go away. Go away. Okay, I get where you're going with this. You don't want everybody to know that we like each other. It's fine. I'll go away. We'll talk outside. Keep it on the DL. Well, when we first started this project, I had never heard of anyone at all. Whoa. Uh, Abby, uh, Anne Marie. Abby Elizabeth, come here. Come please. Okay.
why there's a freshly yanked tampon in the toilet bowl? I don't. I, I don't. What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? It's right I, there. No, I don't. I don't know. What, it's what? like a double-sided sticky tape. It's not going. It's like an open burrito against a, a window. Well, it I, won't slide down, and I try to get it with my fingers, and it's just not going anywhere. Well, I, so how do you know it's mine? <laughs> Couldn't be, be mine. Hard answers. Couldn't it be yours. I can't be mine. You write, you know, you write your initials in black ink on all of your tampons, and look, that's what that's the situation down here. So, you know, why would you even say that? Plus, you know what's going on. I've never had my period. I don't believe. I've never had a period a day in my life. I'm better than that. And you know it. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. We just. So I tell her this dude is killish. I feel like I've conquered the art world already. I've already done that much. Prove that. Um, but I just feel that I am running in on my mighty white steed coming in. You know what I mean? And, you know, she. I use my paintbrush as my sword. And I, I spill my creative blood everywhere on whoever or whatever. And it's just. Alright, so nice. He's not doing it. He's not acting. He's acting up again. He's not doing what I told him to do. We'll cut that out for a second. Look. I'm doing you a favor by doing this for you, okay? You wouldn't be here without me. Okay? Let's not do that anymore. Calm down. Okay. Hmm. Ready again? Let's make it in with a towel, please. It's fine. I'm good. I can use one, though. Where do I get my inspiration from? It's a really good question. Um, when I was little, my dad told me to get inspiration from anywhere and everywhere. Um, I ran over a squirrel today just to get inspired, and it, it helped. It really did help. I don't consider myself normal. What, and what everybody else does, I try and do it a step up, a notch above, or two, whatever they do. Like, people wiping their nose. I don't wipe my nose like this. I go like this. Um, I think that I should be somewhere where people who are on my level of fanciness go to see my artwork, and that's why I applied for The Talking Panda. Um, if you don't know what The Talking Panda is, it's um, the most respected art gallery in the nation. I definitely know that I'm going to get in. I applied five days ago and it's just been, wait, wait, wait. But I know I'm going to get in. There's no doubt about that. But I won't let you down. I won't let my friends, I won't let myself down. I got it. So then he's all, gorilla stands, and I'm all like, just send him a, just send him a basket of fruit. That's <laughs> 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 so funny. That's so Hold on. Entertain yourselves. I'll be back. <laughs> so anyways, I drew a picture yesterday of a dog. <laughs> it looks so great. It looks like cat food. I don't know. Why are you worried about a cat? I just told you about what an amazing picture I drew. So I just got a phone call. It's from the talking panda. I got accepted. Into the talking panda. How did that happen? It doesn't make sense at all to me. Like, at all. My art sucks. Really bad. Really, really bad.
kid. It's okay. You're gonna do great, kid. You're gonna be a star. They're gonna love you. You're gonna make me lots of money. Like two chocolate cookies. You look like a pile of peaches, kid. What that? What does that mean? How many cats you got? There you go. Can you do something with my hair? Yeah, give me your hair. No, you're not zooming. Hey. Mm. Stop moving. You're messing everything up. Sorry. There you go. Put this on. Put your hands up. No, no, no. I'll do it. Yeah. I'm fine. Thank you. Perfect.